So this is the new Japanese milk bread that I baked. Super soft, perfect for sandwiches. And today we're gonna to give it a whirl with a fried chicken sandwich. Now if you wanna see how to make the bread, you can check out my video. I'll leave a link to it in the card up above and also a link in the description. Okay, breasts or thighs. On this occasion, I think I'm gonna go with thighs. I think when you fry with a thigh, you get a much more succulent finish. Um, but there are occasions where I equally like the breast. Quick check over and removing any bits of sinew or bone or anything that looks a bit unpleasant to eat. Okay, so one approach would be to salt the thighs, pop them in the fridge for a couple of hours, then put the thighs in the marinade and leave them in the fridge overnight. I'm gonna make this chicken sandwich from start to finish. So I'm gonna salt the chicken thighs, leave them out at room temp for 30 minutes, then pop them in the marinade and leave that out at room temp for 30 minutes as well. The kick for this sandwich is going to come from a spicy, fermenty and citrusy sriracha mayo. I'm adding three tablespoons of Hellman's mayonnaise and a really good squeeze of spicy sriracha and the juice of half a lime. You want to give that a really good mix up, then have a taste to make sure it's all good and then into the fridge until we're ready to build the sandwich. For the marinade I'm going to use three large spoons of full fat Greek yogurt and I'm going to let it down a little bit with some milk. Now buttermilk is really fashionable at the moment but you know I always have yogurt in my fridge so that's what I'm going to be using and it's going to have exactly the same effect on the chicken. Now this is the thickness that you want for the marinade and I'm going to pop my chicken in and I'm going to leave it at room temperature for about 30 minutes. You can marinate this overnight in the fridge, but leaving it too long will give the chicken a mushy texture. Now I'm going to be cooking the chicken soon, which is why I haven't refrigerated it. I want the chicken to come as close to room temperature as possible before I cook it. For the flour dredge, I'm using 150 grams of plain flour, 50 grams of cornstarch and 5 grams of baking powder. In the spice grinder, I'm going to grind three arbol chilies, one teaspoon of Mexican oregano, one teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of coriander seeds, and one teaspoon of cumin. I'm then going to add a couple of tablespoons of smoked paprika to the flour, and then get our freshly ground spices in there. Needs a really good mix up to make sure that all of the spices are well distributed throughout the flour. We wanna make sure that when the chicken's coated, it's got a nice even amount of spice on it. And don't forget the sea salt. And then we'll just set that to one side until it's time for the dredging. In my opinion, fried chicken needs something bright to go with it. Coleslaw is a classic to serve with fried chicken and I'm gonna make mine with cabbage and plenty of onion. Grated ginger and freshly squeezed lime are going to brighten this up and give the sandwich a real zing. I don't want to add too much mayo to this. I want it to remain bright and I don't want it to be stodgy at all. The lime will just let that mayonnaise down so it's not too thick. I'm going to shallow fry the chicken and I'm going to cook it in oil that's 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, no messing around here. This is going to be a big sandwich. We need to make sure that the bread holds everything together without falling apart. So you need to cut thick slices, don't be shy. And then liberally butter one side of each slice of bread. Now that the oil's heated up, we're gonna dredge the chicken. Some people like to double dip, dredging the chicken twice. For me, that creates an armor plating on the outside that I just struggle to eat. So, just once for me. Out of the yogurt mix and straight into the flour, making sure to press down hard on the chicken and checking that all parts are well covered. And then you wanna repeat that with both pieces of chicken. So carefully into the hot oil, and this is gonna take around, ooh, eight to 10 minutes to cook. And on the back ring there, I've got a cast iron pan that's just heating up on a medium low heat, ready to grill the bread. 
The outside of the chicken needs to be really crispy and the internal temperature needs to hit 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as the chicken's cooked, we just want to carefully lift it out of the hot oil and I'm going to leave it on a piece of kitchen paper to drain. Into the cast iron pan, buttered side down, and we are only going to toast the outside of this bread. We want the inside to be nice and soft. And now, it's time to build the sandwich. Be generous with the sriracha mayo and make sure you go edge to edge on both pieces of bread. On with the coleslaw and then the crispy chicken. Now I've got a slice of gouda going on and using the trusty gas torch to give it a bit of a melt. And then on with the top slice. <laughs> this bread is gonna work perfectly for this sandwich. Mm. <clears throat> crispy chicken, soft bread, the coleslaw is lovely and bright and you can taste the ginger coming through and then you get that kick from the sriracha mayo which is really really nice. Mm.